as soon as I left the room, uh, and that's exactly what we did. We cast a, a very wide net, uh, and we, I said we would accept interest from uh, any football uh, interested folks uh, across America. I received uh, information and counsel uh, from other college athletic directors, uh, from college commissioners, from uh, persons involved with the NFL, and numerous others. As I anticipated, our pool was, uh, of candidates was excellent, it was wide, and it was diverse. Um, it, uh, it included head, head college coaches, it included folks in the NFL, it included college coordinators and assistant coaches from all levels. Uh, I want to thank my staff, a uh, special thanks to Bill McGillis, uh, Executive Associate AD for his incredible work during this time, and certainly President Ginshaf's support uh, these past few days uh, as she always provides, and uh, and I should also want to a special thanks to my wife Sherry. I I called her a couple. Or she called me a couple nights ago and said she was worried. She said there were helicopters literally flying over our house, and she turned the alarm off, on. And I said, well, just go out and tell them I'm not interviewing anybody in our home. So that won't. Be <laughs> hey, I, I also want to publicly thank a, a very good friend and an unbelievable person, Tony Dungeon. Uh, Tony was helpful to me during this process. He actually sat in uh, on the interviews with me uh, and during the final candidates that we had. And so uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to call Tony a friend, uh, and we're lucky to have him and his family live here in Tampa Bay. He's one of the most well-respected men and one of the most well-respected football coaches in America, and he was very helpful in, uh, in us hiring our next football coach here for the Bulls. Uh, actually, what we're going to Tony wanted to be here. Uh, he's, he was on a flight to New York, and we're hopeful he's going to try to be available by phone. <clears throat> Jeremy can talk about that for anybody for you know anybody that's interested uh, in in another location, probably up in my conference room. So we're going to see if he can be available. He wanted to be here, and he wanted to be available. So we'll see if we can make that happen as soon as we finish. This is a great day for uh, USF athletics. The hiring of our new football coach has brought excitement throughout college football uh, in the state of Florida and especially here at USF. Uh, we've got a winner in Willie Taggart. He's young, dynamic, driven, innovative, and successful. He does things the right way, uh, and he cares about student athletes under his leadership. When we began the search, you know, we were looking for a man with just those qualities. His career is filled with success and achievement. He was an outstanding quarterback at Manatee High School and played for the legendary Joe Canan. He led his high school team to the 1992 state championship. He was an All-American quarterback at Western Kentucky, playing for Jack Harbaugh. He launched his coaching career immediately following his graduation at Western Kentucky and served as the offensive coordinator at the age of 25 when the Hilltoppers won the NCAA uh, 1AA championship that year. He later coached under 49ers head coach Jim Harbaugh, and at Stanford, he guided running back Toby Gerhardt to a Dope uh, Walker Award and a Heisman Trophy runner-up finish. His work at Western Kentucky was remarkable. Taking a program that had lost 20 games in a row prior to his arrival and turning it in, into a bowl team in just three years. Uh, they had the top recruiting classes in their conference in 2010 and 2011, and nearly a third of his football team is from the state of Florida at Western Kentucky. He has, he has deep roots and, and lifelong relationships um, throughout this region uh, and Tampa Bay community, together with his genuine passion for leading our football program, make him a terrific match for us here at USF. There's good reason that many, many programs were interested in him. We can't wait for him to get started at USF, so let's welcome home our head football coach. <laughs>